Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. My girl Bella here. Hey Belly, do you want a banana? There you go girl, want a banana? There you go silly monkey. It's been a while since I've just kind of went around and showed you guys a bunch of animals. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's been so busy with hatching and snake eggs and all those other things and building things out and everything like that, that it's been a while since we just kind of hung out with the animals and kind of seen stuff, right? I can't remember the last time I fed B Bella a banana on the vlog and she's obviously doing super well. She is such a beautiful animal, that's for sure. Bella, what's the matter, girl? <laughs> she doesn't like when banana gets on her face. She's such a dainty girl. I know, baby girl, you want another piece? That's okay, baby. I love you so much, as and you can see she's still my absolute baby. So I think we're gonna go around and just see what's going on here with some of my animals. And you know, Bella was kind of that first animal that really opened my eyes to relationships with reptiles, right? When I got Bella and actually started to form the bond that we had together, it really changed my perception. And she was the one that kind of pushed me in the direction that I'm going now. So she is a pretty special animal for me, for sure. And one that I just wanted to start this vlog out with because again, in a way, she kind of started this whole adventure that I'm on right now. It's been a minute since we saw you toothless here and we'll show you what we got going on with him. He's definitely starting to target on the ball really well. Come on, bud. And so what we're gonna do is get him out of the cage first. Come on, come on Toothless, come on, let's go. And the idea is, is that we're taking the laser and we're guiding him to the next food. Come on, bud, come on. There you go, there he is. It's just a little bit of a process. Again, we're getting him out with the ball, then we're lasering him around, getting him to food, and it's pretty awesome to see he's really coming a long way. <laughs> It's just crazy to think that you can literally laser train a lizard. How cool is that? Again, sometimes it's just nice to walk around and see the animals that we admire every day, but oftentimes are working with them, whether it's a training thing or behavior thing or cleaning their cages. And certainly there is no more iconic animal at the Reptarium than Perdita. I mean, she is the animal that people freak out about. I, uh, I love her to death. There is no doubt she's amazing. And, and once again, this last weekend, we saw it happen where there were people that were afraid to hold snakes and then they get to Perdita and they're like, you know what, I'm gonna hold this little monkey right here. So she is literally, I say 95% of people's first snake that they hold at the Reptarium is my girl Perdita. And I can see why, because she's not only beautiful, but she's also one of the most placid snakes you'll ever see. I see what Elvis is up to. As soon as he sees the blue ball, he's gonna come running. Come on, Elvis. Come on, bud. Come on out. Come on out, come on out, come on out. There you go. Come on, Elvis, this way. There you go, bud. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go. Good job, buddy. This isn't easy to do with one hand and a camera. Typically, I have two hands, but it'll all work out. He's just getting the last piece on his own, which is completely fine. I just wanted to bring Elvis out because obviously he's doing amazing. He's an amazing animal. I love this guy. And you guys know that we let him run around for probably hour, two hours every day. He knows every inch of the Reptarium, so we'll just let him have some fun. But there is no doubt that Elvis here, my buddy, again, once that blue ball's gone, he knows there's no more food. He is life-changing for sure because he's really the first lizard we train, not only with the ball, but also a lot of other things that we've worked on him with. And it's just he's just really, truly an incredible animal and an incredible animal ambassador. When people come to the Reptarium, you can see he's just they're like, where can is there? has got to be more chicken in there. When people come to the Reptarium and actually get an opportunity to feed Elvis, they freak out because, again, he's so trained not only to go after that blue ball, I can get him to climb up my leg, I can get him to do anything I want him to do. But as soon as that blue ball is gone, he knows there's no more food and he's happy as can be. He's such a wonderful animal. girl Ivy is just sitting up here so absolutely beautiful. I love uh, the fact that I knew when I crawled in here she was going to crawl right up to me and kind of investigate me and sure enough that's what she's doing. She's like dad what are you doing in here? You know I love this girl so much and again I, it's unusual for her to be kind of perched where she is right now so as soon as I said that I'm like I've got to jump in this enclosure and just spend some time. I'll probably spend the next half hour or so in here. Just let her crawl around again. You'll see she's just kind of curious like dad what are you doing? And the thing I love about her so much and her curiosity and Aries is the same way is the fact that it's almost cooler to not 
touch them, right? To just sit kind of quietly and let them decide what they want to do. Because of their curiosity, they always seem to come investigate and oftentimes when it gets to it, she's going to be all over me on my lap and everything without me actually forcefully making her come onto my lap. I think it's actually amazing. So anacondas have changed my life when it comes to kind of the perceptions of snakes and just the relationship with it. And uh, Ivy is amazing. So of course, you know I'm going to update you on my girl Ivy. And of course, my guy Harry's in the water over there that's doing amazing too. So uh, this, this enclosure is definitely one of my favorite things I've ever done in my entire life with animals. Being cheeky right now. Oh my gosh. I gotta be careful. He's coming. He is just really going nuts here. I don't know what his deal is. Harry, you st stay back. Harry, stop it. Okay. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Harry, knock it off. Oh my goodness gracious. He's turned into a, a monster. Oh my goodness, what is up with you, Aries? I'll tell you what, I wasn't expecting Aries to be like this. He has definitely gotten a little bit feisty right now. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, monkey. You're alright. You're okay. We're friends. Are we okay? I'll be honest with you, I think he was just in food mode. Now I think he's kind of broke the food mode thing. But I don't know. I think if I got too close to him, I think he might bite me right now, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, look at him. He's coming back around. This isn't a good sign. He's definitely got a lot different attitude since he's been in the water here with uh, with Ivy. Woo! I tell you what, gonna have to be careful of him in the future, that's for sure. Ivy never concerned. Aries, uh, He's probably not going to be coming out hanging out with people anytime soon. And it's like I said, you know, sometimes animals change their behavior when they get into two environments. Obviously, Aries has just turned into food mode right now. I'm sure he's still great when I take him out. He's going to be amazing. But definitely have to keep a close eye on him because there is no doubt that if I would have got close, he was coming at me. I mean, that was that was crazy. I've been attacked by anacondas before uh, just like that. So I know that their actions, Aries was on fire. But uh, in the meantime, I used to sit back thinking, what are you doing, you little monkey? So uh, nevertheless. It was still pretty fun, and in the end, I didn't lose any blood. I think someone might be interested in some roaches. What do you guys think? There's another one. Oh, yeah, he's, he's hungry now. <laughs> no, but great. There you go, bud. Look. Get it, go get it, go get it, go get it. There you go, buddy. <laughs> of course, here comes Lilith. I knew she'd come. Look, oh, oh, whoa. Got a little fight going on here. Hey, you guys, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Here, you guys can both get food. Both get food. Wow, these guys are crazy. Well, that was certainly an adventure. Those guys were hungry today, and uh, I was a little worried. They were definitely going at it, fighting each other. They are absolutely cute, and now they both have full bellies. Of course, checking in with my guy Karma here that I'm sure is gonna be happy to eat. You miss all the time, bud. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, this thing is so crazy. I've never seen a chameleon so hard to eat. I mean, this thing misses all the time. You have to literally put the roach in its mouth, but it'll eat like five or six roaches almost every day, so it's definitely crazy. But Karma is amazing. And of course, we got his little girl, Destiny, that's pretty awesome, too. Certainly one of the most popular animals at the Reptarium is Ben and Jerry. I mean, look at these guys. They're so absolutely amazing. Again, having two-headed animals at the Reptarium is a big thing. We're gonna be bringing over, of course, Chopsticks, a two-headed red haired slider anytime, and they're gonna be absolutely amazing. We typically bring them over just to show kids and stuff like that, but we keep them at BHP. We have the new exhibit being made, so that'll be really exciting. But Ben and Jerry are doing absolutely amazing, and when they shed, they'll actually sometimes split that scab, that little area where they got injured several months ago. So 
they'll use some silva sulfa dyzine that is actually like a medication for them just to heal up a little bit. So they're doing very well, absolutely amazing. Two-headed snakes are cool. You guys know how much I love them and Ben and Jerry are certainly spectacular. Take a look at baby Kush. As soon as I open up the enclosure, completely just kind of like eyes get dilated. What are you gonna do? It's completely wondering what's going on. And it is a little bit of a dilemma, I'm not gonna kid you, because you can see he's kind of like ripping up all of the plants and stuff like that. And it's a little hard to get in here and really do a thorough cleaning all around, because we don't want to stress out baby Kush by like grabbing it and pulling it out of the cage. But by going in, we have to be careful. So what we're gonna have to do is always have like Bruce inside cleaning and doing maintenance. And I'm kind of protecting him with baby Kush, you know, just to make sure he doesn't doesn't do anything like attack or anything like that. Slowly getting it together, again, very confident animal, eating, target training super well. Now it's just a matter of it gaining enough trust for us that we can actually interact with it, take it out, and actually have a relationship with it. Right now, we're not there. I'm gonna be honest with you. As you get closer, as you can see, it just gets a little bit more freaky. It'll kind of puff up and go like, okay, what are you thinking about, see? It's just immediately like, uh-oh. And I don't want to get too much closer to that. I don't want to stress it out and I don't want to break that trust, right? But uh, definitely an interesting animal, but definitely one that has some challenges. The first ever lychee gecko that I ever got, of course, the giant New Caledonian geckos was this girl here, Big Bertha. And she's still here at the Reptarium. She's in with the male, hoping we'll breed this fall and get some eggs from her next year and maybe get some first babies here. Of course, we're continuing to grow our group. We just got 2.4, two males and four females just here a couple weeks ago that were babies and we have a handful of other adult lychees as well including one of the popular ones here that's called reptar but but big bertha still is so special to me because she's our first lychee and she certainly has gotten big and i cannot wait till she hopefully has some eggs here next year bowser the 41 year old snapping turtle alligator snapping turtle when you walk in this is the first display that you see so it's always cool and people are always like is he really alive you know is he a statue because he stays kind of solid one of the things we feed him is crocodile trout which the Missouri manufactured food crocodilians. That's just one of the things we also feed them chicken, we feed them fish, we feed them all kinds of stuff. Let's go ahead and give them a couple of little biscuits and see, I love feeding this guy, it's always interesting. He's typically not as enthusiastic as people usually think when they think of snapping turtles. He's kind of you know lazy about it, but that's just because he's so spoiled here. See what my guys Diddy and Dixie are doing today. Come on out, Diddy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Dixie. Come on down. Hi, girl. Hi, bud. Come on, Dixie. <laughs> there they come. Come on, girl. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. There you go, baby. There you go. You're so gentle. Of course, these guys are absolutely amazing. Come on, Diddy. Come on. All the way up. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. That's my boy. Dixie, come here. Yeah, it's Nico, sweetheart. I mean, what a crazy thing, right? To just have lizards that are like, <laughs> these things are more like puppy dogs than they are anything. Come on, Dixie, come on over here. Come on, silly. Wanna climb up farther? Come on, all the way up. Can you come up here? Come on, all the way. That's my boy. That's my boy, Diddy. So Diddy is definitely the more trusting one. Come here, girl. Come on, all the way up. There you go, sweetheart. Want another one? Want another one? Hmm. <laughs> okay guys, you guys are good. You guys gotta go back home now, alright? Alright, so let's do the clicker, get them back home. Alright guys, let's go back. Come on, let's go back. Come on, back, back home, back home, back home, back home, back home. Back home. And that's what it's like to have a couple little pet dinosaurs. So it's just kind of cool sometimes to walk around and figure out what the heck these animals are doing. And today was interesting. A lot of weird kind of action going on. I mean, it was definitely this guy here, Aries. He was, a, he was a trip, had a good time. I hope that you guys enjoyed the little update, the kind of little tour of the zoo and uh, kind of revisiting some of the animals that you haven't seen maybe as often with Bella and some of the other animals. Regardless, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, here's a playlist of our most popular videos ever you can roll through if you don't mind. Up in this corner right over here, you can subscribe to my podcast channel called Checking In. Subscribe to this vlog channel right over here. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.